Asheville, permanent resident for that, I was there for nine years. And that was good because the police captain said, I'll leave you there if you stop doing what you're doing. So I stopped being a drug dealer and now I work for him, which is great. Best thing that captain could ever do. I've got all different hats as my feet when I do window washing. Now this one here just got off the plane about two weeks ago and this is a government issued hat from Beijing and it's an earthquake hat. It's definitely for, I'm ready for an earthquake. We got that bad boy, that bad boy, yeah. The very popular one is uh, Roger, I get dressed up as a pirate. And that's all really cool. Yep, sure, Holmes. I want to know who stole Mr. Shoes' washer. Ah, the hat idea. Well, that came from this one person, you see. So I used to wear this reggae hat when I first started, and a reggae vest. And one day I didn't wear it, and the guy said, uh, "Where's your reggae vest?" And that's your logo. So straight away, I knew I had to create a logo. Really good. Uh, I carry about 50 here and uh, I've lost count how many I have. <laughs> Especially the caps. I've got so many caps, I'm drowning in caps. I'm set in stone. I treat everyone pretty much equally, really. Uh, if I say yes, it's great. If I say no, well, that's just a no, you know. Uh, yeah, pretty much uh, most people get it done, you know, mainly women. Uh, it's really about it. Come on, how you going? Yeah, not too bad, eh? Yeah, the first thing someone says, yes, you study the window. I study the windows as I walk along the window. So you know where all the spots are, dirt, some things you need to squeegee. You know, so I use a razor blade. And then get rid of these. Yeah, this is always good for bugs when you come country drive, you know. Or if you come from the country, you know. Yeah, and this is good for like leaves, getting there, getting out. Thank you. It's the kids that I would give, you know. See, so one day I'll give them 50 cents, I'd say, brother, the kids can do it. And they do it. This is true. And you can't even buy a box of matches. When I was in the music industry, I lost it for a little while there because I treated the people as punters. And in the music industry, that's what they call punters. And yeah, you tend to lose the connection you know, to real life. Yeah. 
in general, again, in Sydney, they say, yeah, uh, Sydney people. Sydney people are actually quite nice. Quite a bit. Uh, people treat me quite nice. I treat people quite nice. It doesn't matter if you abuse me, I'll still be nice to you. Yeah. It doesn't matter what. That's weird.